we have over 257 uh, engineers who have expressed their interest uh, to be with us, to learn with us. So we also appreciate that. We don't take it for granted. Uh, we also want, I was also to recognize some countries like, you know, Uganda, our brothers in Uganda, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, Nigeria, uh, India, uh, South Africa. Uh, these, these are countries that have, uh, we've been, uh, we've, I, I have quite a number of friends there. Uh, we have had them in our previous cohorts and that's, that's something commendable. So cheers, Ghana. Uh, Somalia as well. So thank you, Egypt. Uh, I remember interacting with someone from Egypt. And yeah, this is your place. This is uh, technically a place that we've set aside for you to learn and grow. I'm also glad to know that all of you have been able to wish each other a very fantastic engineering day. Uh, this is a unique day. It's, it's very rare for us, uh, you know, Engineering is not something that is as recognized. Uh, and also, you know, you can you can see even there wasn't a lot of celebration just like other holidays. Uh, but it is our chance now uh, and our position as young professionals uh, to be able to push that agenda and to make our day special and honorable. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to offer you this specific uh, gift to be able to interact with you. So happy day. A beautiful day with that. So this is a great way to celebrate our day, to impact our minds. And I think it was today I, I was going on site with some uh, young engineers. They were interned at my station. And I, I was just thinking out loudly. And I was like, every young professional should spend every minute of their day thinking about how do I want my career to look like? Uh, in case that I am called out at one specific point, what can I be able to offer in that specific case? I tend to understand and believe from interactions, from my own personal experience, uh, from experiences of uh, a number of engineers and young professional students that we've been able to interact with that actually the biggest problem is about starting. So most of us are are stuck between how how do I you know this is this looks like such a complex uh such a complex complex uh, uh field engineering is literally complex and most of us we don't have uh, a perspective of how even to start uh, we also find that most of the professional engineers that we have they are time serious they are very busy being an engineer is a hard job I don't know I don't mean hard but it's quite involving it's quite engaging. So you find that most of us have fear. They don't know where to start. They don't know even how to start. They don't know how did even someone become an engineer. Because I was actually interacting with some 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 young men and, and ladies when I went for a hangout at, at uh, Mount Kenya University. And the question was, what do you even guys do at, at, at Kenya? What do you guys even do, right? So they don't even understand what is engineering. It was also a specific case with me when I was around my first, second, third year, I didn't even uh, understand what was this all about. And so that is a stage and I totally understand. That is why right here today, I am here to, you know, I have hosted this event specifically for undergraduate students, uh, for people who are, are starting off, for the people who are in entry level, for the people who are starting their careers in any specific field, you in any field that you're in, uh, this is a webinar for you. So also the assumption is that most of us are engineering students. We are currently in our campus uh, years. So uh, the session will be specifically tailored for them to help you make a decision uh, to get, you know, to get yourself moving because that is the most important part. We will also understand the, the law of inertia, Newton's law. How does that even translate to our career growth? our career progression. Uh, the second thing also, that's the assumption. I also recognize that I understand we have more, uh, like more of graduate engineers who have graduated uh, recently. I will also get to have a perspective of that and we appreciate you here. If you're here and you know it's your alumni campus, shout out to your people. Uh, uh, shout out to your people. Yes, I understand that 
bring also your inquiries in the chat box. I will be responding to that. And yeah, this is great. This is awesome. Shout out to Kenyatta University. I know we have a, quite a number of uh, engineering students from Kenyatta University. They, I like the style of their leadership. Their leadership is a leadership that is looking to build the student. And if you're a student leader here, I would, I would actually uh, appre encourage you to take the same uh, style of leadership where you are not only just yapping and telling your, 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 your comrades about comrades' power and all of that, you are actually impacting them, giving them skills, giving them access to top professionals in the industry. So allow me to make a simple, simple uh, presentation for you people. I am prepared this specifically for you. So I would like you to allow me to just make that simple presentation. So uh, there we go. Uh, if you have your questions, if you have uh, your uh, you you have something that you would want uh, me to specifically get to share, uh, feel free to drop it in the chat box, and I will be able to respond to all of that. So please confirm uh, or let me know whether you can see my screen. Uh, please drop a one, drop a one in the chat box. I'll be able to see that. Uh, if you can see my screen, uh, if you can see my screen, just drop a one in the chat box. I will be able to know that you are able to see me. All right, fantastic. Thank you, Marcy. Thank you, thank you, everyone who has confirmed. Uh, thank you, Kemunto. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Abubakar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So here we are. So this session is up. Rating G, your civil 3D skill sets. Uh, I specifically mentioned about civil 3D because this is what this camp, uh, uh, bootcamp is all about. And in this case now, you know, I, I wanted to, uh, to make it uh, specific. But also, I understand that we are very curious. Young men are, and women are curious. So if also you're interested in structures or in any other field, this uh, I hand you in mind, and this one will be able to apply in all of those scenarios. Uh, so this is upgrading your skills to get yourself top there. This is the first Global Civil 3D uh, Campus Bootcamp that I've had, and I'm looking forward to a very successful one. Uh, so uh, you're most welcome. This is our technical and information session. The reason as to why we call it technical is because we'll be looking at uh, to understand what technical things do we need to get, uh, you know, to get our civil 3D journey started. So that includes installation and all of that. So that's the technical bit. I also have my gentlemen with you who have been uh, engaging you. We have Wesley, a shout out to you. We have Blasius and Tony. They are the men who help you to, you know, configure your softwares whenever you have technical issues. Uh, they're the men that has been helping me for the last six months. And yeah, it's fantastic. So great to see also your growth. So welcome everyone and happy engineering day 2024. I think this is a special day for me uh, to share this, uh, what I have, what has been blessed with, uh, with you people. And I am sure also uh, you are enjoying this and you end a fantastic day. So happy, happy, happy day. I just make sure you smile like this person here as we proceed with the session. So uh, I think I would like you people to know me. It's, you know, you, I consider myself a super revolutionary civil 3D instructor. Uh, why do I consider myself this way? Because I am a dynamic leader who ignites creativity, tries to work with diverse teams and pioneers breakthroughs in solutions in the construction industry. I think I consider myself a force to reckon with in every uh, space that I get in uh, regarding uh, road design and all of that. It's, it's, it's always uh, my pleasure to share that. I also work with teams. I think I, that's one of my super, super, super strength. And also I have a, a great um, and wavering passion for self, uh, for personal development. And in this case, I mean, how can you people be able to use your your personality, uh, the, the person you are to influence your career. So my career is, I am 
I am I am I am I am a protagonist. I consider myself a very very good a public speaker. I can give out information clearly uh, to the people, to the target audience. Um, I can write well. So I am using that as a person now to impact you people, to offer value to you and to offer value to the world. So that is something that I also championing for you people. I've been doing this for the last, uh, from 2022, I was running tri runs at my workplace. I trained up quite a number of institu- uh, offices. Our, our institution has quite a number of satellite offices and and yeah 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 so from this is i want to forge an era a new era of holistic professionals in the built environment where we'll be merging technical excellence with personal leadership so you must be able to lead yourself if you want to lead a project if you want to lead a team because when you are engineer you are a team leader so you need to be able to lead yourself you need to know I don't need to be told to do this. I know I can do this. You are a very good uh, project manager. So that is it. And as we proceed, I've been able to create Ronsab. Uh, Ronsab will be our brand. You can see it looks beautiful. I know you can see the shape there. The colors are amazing. And this will be uh, our hub to learn, where we envision to be a center of excellence, to train new people, uh, to equip you with skills uh, to, uh, so that we shape the future of road design and, you know, in, in the most possible and beneficial way. So that is basically what I want to do here with you people. I've built this experience from technical training by professionals. I have quite a number of mentors. We connect with people from technical specialists from Autodesk. So I have been gathering this information and I've packaged it to offer directly to you. And that is what we're doing today. So before we get to do this, I want us to talk about something great. For the last two years, uh, the last three years or so, yeah, okay, three years, two years of training, where I've immersed myself in in the field of training. And this is something that I'm going to be doing for a long time and a good time. So you don't have to be worried about anything. I'm going to be here with you. This is our mission. And I also have a very supportive team. So one of the key challenges that I found, and this is where you need to start taking notes from, one of the key challenges that I found uh, to be, you know, to be affecting how effective most of us can learn is something called a poor mindset, a poor approach to design. I know, I know, poor is relative, but this is an experience that I've gathered with people that have interacted with a lot of uh, people who want to be trained. And you can see this person has a genuine desire. They have a very genuine desire. They have a very compelling, you know, they know the benefits that are going to come with the, with the training. But the lacking, the lacking point is number one, the mindset. How do you need to approach, you know, learning any technical skill? Should it be Revit? Should it be ProStructure? Should it be road design, houses, Archicand, or whatever? You need to understand how to approach this, how to plan yourself before you embark on it. Why do I am I talking about this? Because these specific skills, I call them rare and valuable skills. Rare and valuable skills are difficult to adopt. They are difficult to learn, you know. And if these things are difficult, that's why we find that a very small percentage of professionals, um, of graduate engineers, I, I actually carried out a survey and we saw that 86% of the people who participated in the survey did not have a technical training and live alone having a technical training, they had a very poor mindset. So today I will be uncovering how do you need to approach this as we are also embarking in this uh, 3D bootcamp. I noticed that the biggest challenge that we have is because people don't know even, they're just getting into it. They're just getting into it. And uh, from a point of knowledge and understanding, it is very important for you to get in here in the right foot. So what is the right foot? I am calling it the flywheel effect. And in the flywheel effect, I want you to look at uh, everyone. I don't know. I know. I know we could be having mechanical engineers here. So, for example, if you, I know all of you have grown probably in some local area somehow, 
you know, and you know uh, a portion meal. So a portion meal, a, f a fly, you know, operates with the principle of flywheel. So it's a big tire, this massive big tire that is connected with another, another one and connected with another one and connected with another one. And when one wheel, a flywheel tries, starts to rotate then, it turns on or it puts others in motion. I know most of you uh, are probably thinking that these are just stories. Or uh, you could be thinking that I was coming here to train you on theory of safety. Fantastic. We can do that and we will eventually do that. But one of the important things is the entry behavior. How do you get into the program? How do you plan yourself? So the first thing that I want you to uh, look at it in this respect is the definiteness of purpose. So in definiteness of purposes, I want you to sit down before you proceed with this and write clearly. And these are not things that you think in your mind. I know all of us think that we are pretty, pretty good thinkers. Yeah, okay, fine. We trust our mind, but our mind try plays tricks with us. So the first thing that I would want you to do today is, number one, be able to write down why. Why are you joining this boot camp? What do you want to achieve at, this, at the end of this program? Write it down now. Now, if you're not going to write it down now, don't join our, our boot camp. It's as clear as that. You cannot embark on a journey that you don't know what, you, what are you going for. What do you want to come home with? So in this case, definiteness of purpose. Number one, I want to know to do 2D drafting. So in 2D drafting is where I can, you know, I can use AutoCAD to, to just to draw something, a calvert or something. That's just drawing. So I would want you to know that. Probably you want to say that you want to learn how to create alignment. Okay. Uh, if you want probably to, it's very specific. I want you to be very, very specific with this. And you want to know, if you are a surveyor, you want to know how do I work with survey data. So the second thing that you need is how do you think like a top or rather what's the top performer perception of reality as an engineer? So the idea is here, yeah, you must, you must, you must start looking at things in the perspective of, so you already have the definiteness of purpose here with you. And if you have definiteness of purpose with you now, you need to know how can I perform at an exceptionally level when I have this purpose. So, for example, I will be giving very specific uh, examples here. Uh, there is a surveyor who wants to know how to do topo maps uh, using civil 3D. That's a very good for surveyor for any engineer. So you have the survey data and then you create a topo map. So then you should look how do I perform at an exceptionally top level that specific area. So you need to imagine yourself outdoing everyone. You need to imagine yourself. This is where you spark your creativity and imagination. So you need to see yourself there. And then number two, you need to be see yourself doing these specific things. You need to be see yourself delivering projects. You need to see yourself as a top performer. Me here right away talking to you, I am a top performer. And that is my mindset. Every time I have a project, every time I'm thinking of myself playing at the top most level, a top mindset for you. So most of us are just like, hey, let me try. Let me try. I saw, I saw James doing a top of map. Let me try. No, that is very wrong. The second thing is about to become unstoppable. So in this case, uh, the idea of becoming unstoppable turns us around. You need to have a conviction that, you know, you know what, man, uh, I'm joining this and this is going to be my, uh, you know, this is going to be my turnaround. This is the best thing that I'm doing and I'm going unstoppable. If I'm starting this, if, if I'm joining this program, the boot camp, this is my first step and I'm not stopping and just moving. I don't care what the journey looks like, but I'm going to move like this. So thinking like an expert in road design is combining this aspect, the define, definiteness of purpose. And then once you do that, you see yourself as a very top performer. Once you do that, then 
you think how do you think that number one is a creating uh you know you think yourself solving problems so that is another problem that i have with most of the people that have been training so you're just in the civil 3d and all you're doing there is you're like you're playing in some fantasy world so you are totally disconnected from reality so in this case when even i tell you that uh you know that is a very sharp curve you cannot figure it out you cannot see it why because you've detached yourself from reality so even when you're doing the clicks you know most people think that civil 3d is about the software it's about clicking here and here and all of that no that is wrong the right thing is to see yourself when i give you a project i want to see i want you to imagine yourself like you actually designing and constructing that role when we talk of a curve you seeing yourself negotiating that curve you can be able to visualize it we say that information plus emotion becomes long term memory so it's until you see yourself it's the same thing when you're designing a house imagine you don't have a picture of how that building is going to look like you cannot you cannot it's like you're going to draw you know it's like when you were in, in engineering so you were doing technical drawing so it's until you figure out that picture in your mind that is when you can be able to replicate it so that's how you think like an expert you think of this road like an actual road that people are going to drive on it so it's not like about the lines and all of that so the second thing is how do you then influence your mind to do this so i will go back uh in the in the in the realm of uh, physics and in the realm of physics i know we all did this actually if uh it was the law of inertia uh by isaac newton so the law of inertia states that um an object that is in motion will tend to stay in motion unless acted upon by an external force that is the law of motion now we have that number 2 i want you to look at the flywheel that i just uh, gave you as an example here so for you the flywheel in 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 a in a portion mill i want to use the most basic example in a portion mill in a in a in an industry the the flywheel is so big i think this time i was going to some company and they end this massive uh, flywheel and that's when i actually thought about this so for this flywheel to start moving it will require some force it will require some 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 energy it will require someone to turn it around okay and then when we talk about this when it starts rotating then you can see that it will be able to connect so this is a very good demonstration that you're seeing here so you start moving the big one here and once you move this uh, flywheel then it connects with the other one it 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 influences the other one it transfers motion and energy to the next one and then after that it connects to the next one and to the next one so look here the the idea is if something is moving it will continue to move if something is not moving then you will need to exert a force to get it moving you consider yourself as this big flywheel you have a mass you know there is that potential energy inside you so you are engineers i do you understand what you comprehend what i'm saying so this is a flywheel look at me here i am the big flywheel and this flywheel i am connected to you people i'm connected to other wheels and all of that so for me to be able to start rotating or how i start rotating this flywheel to for it to release or convert the the, the potential energy into kinetic energy it needs an extra force to push it to be able to move and now how do we relate that to civil engineering and this also can be applied in the in the mental in the mental plane to us to to to, know, to learn new skills uh you know to build new skills to do networking to do practice and to learn any hard skill so here is the idea you people the 100 the, the 259 people who have already subscribed to this you have potential in you 
So you need an external force that will activate you and set you in motion. That is the whole philosophy. So you people there, you are the flywheel. You are the flywheel. You, yes, you, you, you looking at me. You are the flywheel. And you need an external force to get you moving. And that external force is what I am doing here. I am the external force. I am the external force that I'm here to, to, to show you how you can actually uh, leverage your own potential to learn very fast, to upgrade, to build your skills, to be the top performer in the any industry that you uh, you want to embark on. So the idea is, if something is now moving, it will tend to stay in motion and in a straight line. So the idea is, this, this, this very first meeting that we have here, this boot camp that I'm starting for engineering students, it's, it's something very lean, it's something lean, that is meant to cater for your ideas, just to get you started, to, to get you in motion. I want to show you the, the, the secret. How do you build the momentum to start moving? So this one, the momentum now is sustained by your definite desire. You remember when we were starting this, you had set a specific goal. I want to be a top performer when it comes to creating top maps. So that is your idea. That is your first goal. So as you moving, as you getting in this one, you need to understand how survey is done. How do I import survey points? How do I create contours? How do I create a very good title block? How do I do this? How do I export? How do I present this to my clients? I hope you're getting this story. So the idea is this bootcamp is meant to kickstart you, okay? This is a principle that applies in every area. So every day that you wake up, you just need to open your civil 3D, watch one of the videos that I'll be providing, and then you just make sure that you, you take just a few notes, and then after that, you review this, the notes and then apply and move to the next session. This is the only way. I'll make the sessions very, very simplistic, right? I'll make them very clear. I'll make them very, very, I don't know, I don't know. I, I make it as simple as possible as short as possible. This only requires 10 minutes of your time. I don't make any videos above 10 minutes. So imagine, I want you to imagine yourself. You are robbing yourself the opportunity to be a top performer, a top expert, because you cannot commit 10 minutes. You talked, you talked with someone with just uh, some useless call for 10 minutes. You were scrolling some TikTok stuff for 10 minutes. So how do we now employ that in skill building? So I've given a very good idea in when it comes to civil 3D. So the idea is you start with me. You don't want me to lose you. Okay. I want to move with you holding your hand. I tell you, this is it. Do this. You know, install the software. You just install it. Do, uh, you know, interface survey. You go through the interface keenly and intentionally. Maintaining the idea that you want to become a top, a top IWI designer. There is no IWI designer who doesn't know the interface of the software. So if you take that uh, lightly, then that means you are not ready to be that. Then when we come about networking, networking also comes. Now you know me. Now you know me today. Now you know a few people that have brought you. You have uh, brought in the group. And then... Once you do that, you inbox someone. I'm going to put you in a group. And once I put you in, a, in this group, I will also break you down into a small team. So this small team, you will be working with them internally. So how do you do networking? How do you employ this very same flywheel principle in networking? So you look at someone who is becoming very good, who is getting the lessons uh, clearly. And then once you get this person, you text them, hey, man, I saw you were very good in creating contours. Can you show me how that's done? Boom. That is the first connection done. So you're getting your flywheel in motion. Then after that, every day we submit deliverables. We submit design challenges. You see another person who is very good at it. You inbox them. They become your friend. You become your friend. And that is how you get to do it. How do you do deliberate practice? You just do one video installing Civil 3D. And then that's good. 
then you don't want that momentum to be lost. You strive to do the next video, the next 10 minutes, the next 10 minutes, the next 10 minutes, and then that's how you get yourself moving. So from this case, you will find yourself even getting a very simplistic or even a very complex YouTube video, and you can be able to follow it at your own pace. Same thing when it comes to career success, you get good at one thing, becoming a surveyor, creating something as basic as line work, something as basic as uh, writing, and then that's how you move, you move, you move, you move. Same thing when it comes to mentorship and training, you approach one mentor, use the same template. I, I was also telling some guys, you don't have to write so many messages you know, different message. Just write one template message for getting a mentor, send it to James, then edit it, send it to Jack, then edit it, send it to Barasa, then edit it, send it to Glory, edit it, send it to these people. That is how you create a network of mentors. So you write specifically, I, I saw, I appreciate this, and I saw that I could learn this and this for you. And that's how people get mentors. That's how I got I have like 10 mentors. I respond to them. We have in good, we have good contact and that's it. Now, I think I'm done with the mindset part and I would want to pause and get to hear questions. I know someone had raised their hands. I want also to look at the chat box to know who wants clarification on what. I think we are done with the mindset part. Uh, you already know now the mindset that you want to get in. So ladies and gentlemen, the session is up for you. Let me get to hear from you. I want to hear. I want to hear from a few people. If you have questions, uh, if we have something in the chat box, I'll be happy to respond to that. Okay, great. Great. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to know that you people have been able to uh, understand that concept. And if you've been able to understand that concept, then you're set. You're good. You're good to go. You're good to go. Make sure that you apply it. Make sure that you uh, you think about it and you do explore it. So here we go now. This is the first uh, global civil 3D campus bootcamp. Uh, this is the first one that I've been able to host uh, with you people. And uh, it's unique actually when I, I wanted to launch it. Uh, I think it was subconscious. I didn't know that today is uh, the World Engineering Day. I, I genuinely didn't know. Uh, but it, probably it was a way of the universe saying that now you have to give back to these people. I, I came to realize that today when I was preparing the poster. And uh, thank you. Uh, this is it. This is it for you. And now this uh, Civil 3D uh, Bootcamp, why? Why? What is the reason behind it? And ladies and gentlemen, uh, CAD, uh, computer-aided design, is one of the most profitable and one of the evolving and it's i think it's evolving at a terrific speed uh it has a lot of opportunities it is a new field we know we are used to everyone telling you that you don't have experience you know you you you, you haven't been doing what you haven't doing what and th that is something that has been uh, challenging to most of us and why now and do I recommend, uh, you know, gaining skills in computer-aided skills? Number one is you can learn from the best. So you will be already knowing that uh, what skills do I need? Uh, and that is the essence of why we are creating Ronsab uh, Engineering Designs. This is where we can equip you with the right skills, whether you are, you are working or not. I am here to give you the perspective of how do we actually design in the real world. So after you've been with us, after you go through the, the training programs, after you'll be able to follow uh, the steps that you've been given, you will have an equivalent practical, a, a practical knowledge that is equivalent to someone who has been actually on site. So we are doing this from a perspective of knowledge, experience, uh, expertise, and that is essentially what we are giving you. And then the second thing is there are a lot of job opportunities that you get to work remotely. And of course, after this program, we are going to, 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 to share 
will, after you gain the skills, I will take you now to the next step, how you can now leverage these skills to make money, uh, to bid for jobs, to, to work remotely. So it's a process and I want you to be confident with it. I want you to, to stick in the process. You need to understand that this is not a one-time thing. And then the second thing is, uh, from a survey that we carried out, I've said this a million times, that we found that 86% of graduate engineers don't have uh, the opportunity uh, for practical training that is based on experience and things that are actually happening on site. That is one of the biggest challenges that we have. But right here with us, we'll be having an approach now to how practically, how can I use, you know, this is the beauty of this program. And this is something that most people have not gathered. Uh, if you're here, you're so lucky to be with us. The idea is, if you look at the YouTube videos, if you look at most of the trainings that I, I was trained almost three times on some programs, but I dropped out. The idea is they are just clicking, clicking, clicking. They want to make you a robot. Uh, they want you to continue clicking the clicks, you not actually uh, knowing what do I expect at the end of the day. So our approach here is to help you, you know, start with the end in mind. And then once you have this end in mind, then you know what is the expected outcome? What do I expect to, to deliver at the end of this? Yes, I'm clicking. I'm, I'm creating services. So what? All right? So that is a very good perspective for you to get in this one. And of course, any person that is going to be consistent with this, I'm promising you here, and I'm saying this live, and this video is going to go live for quite a number of years. I am saying that anyone who practices with, uh, uh, you know, with who learns this program, who learns CAD, who learns computer-aided design, with the approach that I'm giving you, with perceiving yourself a top expert, you will never, you will never go jobless. That is a word I'm saying to you, and I'm saying this exactly on your face today i have i have been i i, I think I've, I've gotten the most opportunities from this uh from this program and i think i have so many opportunities in my table that even overwhelms me all right why because i decided that i'm a top expert i'm a top performer and that is the mindset that i'm approaching this and nobody is going to tell me nothing i'm, I'm a top performer and then I concentrate my focus, my energy to becoming a top performer. Any professional that tells me, James, come here, I want you to do this. I do it very right. I do it with an extra way. Anytime that uh, uh, I do a design, and you know, when you're growing, you, your designs will be corrected so many times. Anytime I get to do a design and it is corrected, I always say, I always say, show me why, why is that? I try to understand the reason behind the correction. And when that correction happens, it's never going to happen again in my design life. So that is how you build your skills, become an expert. You cannot become an expert by saying, I want to be immersed. You know, someone says, I want to go deep in the software. There is nothing like deep in the software. What you need to do is you need to challenge yourself with more challenging projects. So different projects have different needs. So when I give you this project, it has a level. And then once you complete that level, it has another level. Once you complete that, it has another level. And then as you're moving with that levels, you don't need to forget the levels that you started. You need to build up on that. You know, you're knowing how to interact with the interface. Then build on that, man. Build on that. You know, that is the perspective of a top, top expert so if you are you are thinking that you will know one thing today and then you become an expert please don't join us i i will be very open with you if you think that you just join tomorrow you become you must you you know you get practical you become active when deliverables are issued when things to do are issued you get to do it so that is basically about the bootcamp and then ladies and gentlemen we go to the practical part so i had promised you people to give you some hints on how to get the software. I've been getting hundreds of messages. How do I get CV3D? How do I do this? How do I do this? So for students, it's pretty easy. 
very simple. I've also been asked which software are you, uh, which laptop are you using? Which specifications do I need? I know this is very basic and it is basic, but very important for our beautiful students. Who are, this is your very first time starting this. You don't even have the software. You don't have to worry about that. This is what you need to have to quench my thirst. This is all you need to have, an operating system OS of 64-bit, uh, and then probably Windows 10, Windows 11, you'll be good to go. And then you need to have a processor. Your laptop should have a processor of between 2.5 to 2.9 gigahertz, uh, but we recommend above three, but also you can be able to work with 2.5. 2.5 is the basic for most uh, most of the, of, the, of the laptops, that even the, the ones that are easily affordable, in the market. When I was starting these, I used uh, some HP Elite Book High 840. That is a superior, that, that small laptop is a beast. I know the screen is small, but I think I could do a lot. That was basically my learning lab when I was starting. I didn't have a laptop. So don't tell me that you don't have a laptop. It was going at around 22,010. I think now you can get it at 10, uh, at 15, between 15 to 20,000. Uh, so you can organize and always get that. It's an investment. You can use that laptop. I used it for almost two years before I was able to afford a better laptop. So that's good. Uh, the memory requirement, AGB, basic, but also I've seen even 4GB work. So don't don't take this excuse. Me, I risk. Uh, I say that, okay, fine, eight, uh, I have four, okay, fine. So then I can be able to proceed and do with that. And then there is the disk space. So basically the whole software is around 20 GB, uh, but you need to, you know, you have more space so that you can be able to install the software. Um, another key thing is when you have a lot of files in your computer, your computer becomes slow. It loads so much. So I would recommend if you have an extra flash disk, you can put most of the large files in the flash disk and then you're left with the computer just to run the program. It will be faster. It will not hang a lot. So it will be easy for you. Then the other thing that I, I recommend is once you, you are done installing, you can delete uh, the base application or save it in a, in a separate hand disk. You know, that whole folder that in the whole, uh, the, the software and all of that, you can be able to save it in a different hand disk and then you will free up space. Then after that, display 1920, 1080. I think that's basic. And then the next thing that you want to do is do a free Autodesk software access uh, for all, you know, for, 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 for all our students. The assumption is most of us are students here. Yeah, for those who don't are, are not students, uh, we will find a way to do that. And in this case, allow me to shift to Autodesk. I like doing things practically and I will show you quickly how you get to do to access uh, the Autodesk software. So the first thing, this is the Autodesk website. Uh, I think I created even a step-by-step -step guide on this. You don't have to be worried. So you just go to Autodesk, um, Autodesk, Autodesk.com. It's as simple as that. Uh, I don't want that. These are my certifications. Uh, so just autodesk.com. So once you select uh, autodesk.com, this is what you see on the screen. And once you see these, like this, uh, this is the, the landing page uh, to use a better word. Uh, this is the landing page at Autodesk. And in this case, there is the step for products support uh, and then learn. So where we want us to go is, I want us to go to products. And once we go to products, there are quite a number, architecture, engineering and construction. Uh, there is product design and manufacturing. This is for mechanical engineers. There is media and entertainment for people who want 3D MX and all of these to create, an, you know, to create all those 3D images. Uh, those are the three main uh, categories that we have. And in this case, I will be specific with us for architecture, engineering, and construction. We have the top products here, the AutoCAD, 
Revit, CO3D, uh, and all of these. What I highly recommend is for structural engineers, you can take Revit, AutoCAD, and then CO3D. The beauty of CO3D is it runs on AutoCAD as the mother, uh, you know, as, as the parent baseline. I don't know, I'm very, very good in tech. So I can say uh, parent baseline. So in this case, you'll be able to click civil 3D. And once you click civil 3D, then it will take you to the next page where it will ask you, uh, you know, to, okay, let me see. Uh, it's loading a little too much here. It's loading a little too much. Ah, uh, fantastic. So you will see the click, uh, try free trial. Once you do to free trial, then it will take you to step to the steps. So you only need to do three steps for you to have a free trial that is worth for one year. And you know, if you're not part of a business, you are a student or a teacher, Autodesk provides a software for students and educators worldwide. The free education access is only for educational purposes. So we are learning. So we, we are not violating any rule here. It's uh, all of us, we are learning. Uh, so you don't need to go to business or use a file view, whatever file viewer, you need to go to education. So once you go to education, you click on education community below here. So that's how you do it. Uh, once it does that, and then it will take you to interface where now you are able to select the software that you need. So unlock educational access to Autodesk products. Uh, products and then you just tell it get started get started yeah we are always getting started so in this case now here you can be able to you know enter your email address it's basically uh it's basically uh you know uh okay let me just use that anyway uh you uh, you use your email address and then after that you just get to continue in this case, I know most of us could be saying that probably you do not have an Autodesk account. Uh, that should not be a problem. So you can see in this case, because I have an existing Autodesk account, and I know most of you could be worried, there's, there's no risk in having a, an Autodesk uh, account. Uh, they don't disturb you with a lot of marketing. They are, they are, they are focused people, genuinely. So once you have that, then you will have a pop-up here. And in this pop-up, you will be able to log in with your current, if you already have an existing account, you can be able to log in. But should you be new, which I presume is the case for most of us, then you just create an account. So once you create an account, you don't have to worry, just put in your name, your email address, and then put a password that you're going to remember. And then boom, you will have created your Autodesk account. So that's it. Uh, and then after that, I can see some people have already at end of time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for those who are already, you know, for those who are already, I saw someone saying congratulations there. And then if you already have an existing, then you can be able to log in. So in this case, let me just log in with my account. Uh, I'm not showing you my password anyway, so you don't have to worry. Uh, then you get to proceed and sign in. Uh, ah, fantastic. So once you sign in then, uh, these the software now, or rather the interface will redirect you. It will give you uh, all of this information. And then it will ask you to sign up for Autodesk Education Access. So in this one, if you're a student, I don't understand why you should be worried about, you know, a lot of things. Oh, here I'm exposing a lot of my information. Yes, I'm, I'm born in 26th February, so I'm an old man. Uh, so it will have sign up for Autodesk Education Access. And remember that this uh, license will be valid for one year. So after that will be Education Institution. Uh, please select your country. So in this case, I am in Kenya. Uh, you can press K and then Kenya will display here. And then your address, you can put your school address or just a street. So let me just use uh, Kenyatta. What is the address here? Yeah. And then your city, of course, Nairobi. Uh, postal code, 
just use the postal code of your city 00100 and then institution this is the most important part please take note uh, you need to select whether you are in high school my do these ones also they give access to people in high school so in this case you need to select a uh, university that is the assumption and then you need to put the name of your education institution so for example i'm an, uh, a proud alumni of the technical uh, university of kenya uh, university and the beauty of this is once you put it the, uh, the website is going to to load the name of your university so uh, you don't have to worry you can see here the technical university of kenya nairobi so you select appropriately uh, once i do that i put the website this one you can be able to do that and then you need to put your tentative graduation date so in this case you know, they are expecting to december 2024 and then also you need to confirm this information is accurate and then you proceed so once once you proceed uh most of the people now this is where most of the people get to give up you can see my my customer details are tick education is tick and then verification this is the most important part most people i don't know whether it's because of fixed mindset that they find that they think it is difficult you know it is that no you don't have to do this so you need to just provide your legal names you don't have to provide your id uh, the name the name of the education you are en en enrolled in you can see my name is technical university you can see my name has been highlighted here uh, right and then after that there are three ways three ways to confirm your eligibility you un you understand that the the, the 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 corporation doesn't want you people faking to be student and we need to be very authentic with ourselves uh, so you have three options to validate this you just need to use either your school transcript your school issued confirmation letter that letter of admission where they say we are hired by interest and to oh, oh, we are here by happy to congratulate you all of that and you can just use that or you can actually use your school id this is about learning and you can get to do that and then once you upload it here then you'll be able to say continue and then this is the last step uh, you upload that and then you continue kindly remember that uh, this this one takes uh the, you have seven days what seven 14 days you have 14 days for it to be for you to prove your eligibility so you just provide pro provide that the faster you provide the id the transcript uh wherever wherever you you're willing your offer letter and then once you provide that they will be able to certify that's it uh you can be able to get this for most of us who are not students that will be taken care of in another in another session so that's basically how you get to do that then the second thing that i want to show you people is one amazing tool that we use and that we'll be using in the training and this tool is called plexad so plexad is a tool that is helping us to visualize our design so when you're designing it will help us now to where we were imagining that you are actually constructing this road so you are able to see like wow this is my road actually on site right you you are able to make decisions you can see the extent of the corridor you know the area that you need to work on you can see sections where there is you require a culvert you know there is embankment you, you are able to visualize even if you are not where the survey data that i'm giving you we can be able to you know to review that and be on the same page so how do you get that how do you get the plexer so it's very simple pretty simple and all you need to do is you just open a new uh, Chrome website anywhere, just a new Chrome tab. And then once you have that, you type in Plex as light. Plex as light. The one is Plex as. Uh, my, my gentleman, you can drop the link. You can drop the link and you just press enter. And the first one that you have here is actually. Uh, 
it's actually the, the light uh, version. So Plex has, has two versions. There is the mother, or rather the parent uh, software, which is a very big file, super big, uh, and very expensive to access. But since they are here to help us in our design, then they have given us a light, um, a light option. So this one is kilobytes, and we can integrate it in Civil 3D. So how do we go about this? We just click on download, light download. The very first thing that you're going to see are the very first function. And then once you're here, it will ask you to download Plex Art Lite, the free plugin. So plugins are just external software that we use to improve our design process, to, you know, to, to hand taste, to help us to make decisions. And these are proven to be one of the best. Uh, so after that, you just click download Plex Art. And once you click uh, download Plex Art, then it will take you to this tab. So once it takes you to this tab, and you can see that it's it has partnered, it's just the out, uh, Autodesk App Store. So all you need to do is, you know, it has the 64 and that two bit, and then you just click on download. So once you click on download uh, right here, Once you click on download uh, uh, here, once you click on download, it will, please read and accept. Please make sure you accept. If you don't accept this, then you are not going to get the free software. So you press agree, you press agree. And once you agree, it is going to download. It's as simple as that. That's how you get to download the free uh, AutoCAD or rather the free FlexArt Lite plugin. And then my men will be out there to help you. So for the people who will be joining our program, uh, my men will be there to help you install. It's very simple. Uh, when you're installing, the instructions are number one. Uh, you need to close your Civil 3D, then you open. So it will be very simple. We also have a recorded video that is easier to follow so that we don't waste a lot of time. And then that will be sent in the group right away. My men, uh, please drop it drop it, drop it in the WhatsApp group. Uh, so the next thing that you do is you just go to downloads and then you can see our download is right here with us. So this is, oh my, this is the setup for PlexArt and for you to be able, it will be in, in your downloads, then you can open it and then the video will show you how to set it up so that we don't waste a lot of time. So thank you very much. That is the two things that we'll be using in the in the in the in the in the in the program. My men there, Wesley, Tony, and Blacius will be out there to help you if you're stuck. Uh, for the people who will be continuing with us in this process. Yeah, I can see the link is being sent in the group. Make sure you check it out and just get to download these uh, the Plexar and also the Autodesk. If you are not a student, also, we will create a small list for you, for us to be able to help you. So that's it. That's it all I hand for you people here. And then someone is asking me. So someone is asking, even if they are not asking me, I know this is a question that I've received so many times. And the uh, free Autodesk software, we've been able to get that. Then what is the approach, the specific approach in our trainings what is the specific approach in our training number one what platform are we going to use in our training we use telegram why do we use telegram we are able to send pre-recorded videos and you can be able to download them the videos are very high quality and so they are sometimes 100 mbs 200 mbs 150 30 40 depending on the size so on Telegram, we are able to share those files for you. Also, uh, in Telegram, it has a, a very good... So for example, we are 200 something here. So once we go to Telegram, it becomes very easy for us to manage you. Uh, it becomes very, very, very easy for us you know, to manage the whole process. Then the second thing is activating hands-on mode. So these trainings, please, as we've seen, I've been insisting on these. They are practical. 
So if you think that you will come, sit around, uh, stay for the 14 days, and then you will be a pro, that's a, I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry to disappoint you, but that is not going to happen. So you need to be a hands-on person. We seem for you to learn. You need to be creating. You need to be active. Stop that thing of campus where you just sit, uh, listen, 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 consume, 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 and then go home. You don't have anything to remember to show for it. So you need to be able to work. So we have small deliverable, small projects, small, small things to do, very basic for you to get your flywheel moving. So we would appreciate you if you're very active, you are asking questions, you are engaging with your teammates so that you can learn from each other. Also, you don't, we know you don't know. That is the first principle. We already understand that you don't know. So you trying to feel ashamed to, yo, oh, winning is for the shameless. You have to be shameless. I speak here shamelessly with my Kimeru accent. Yeah. And, it, it, you know, it, it, it's, I have to be shameless, you know, uh, for me to get to deliver this to you. So even when you're learning, we already know that you don't know. So stop putting the mask of saying you are a pro, you are not, and we know. So we are here to learn. So stop the imposter syndrome. Stop feeling low. You know, we also know that we are learning at different rates and speed. So my brothers and sisters, we'll just sit down there, allow to be taught, allow yourself to learn from your friends who are becoming good, make them your friends, interact with them, connect, network, and, you know, everything will be good for all of us. Then design project. So we'll be designing a two-kilometer road with you people in this boot camp. Look at this. You'll be able to design a two-kilometer road from zero to finish. Zero to finish. A design project for you. This is the first time in your life. So I'm asking you one question. How do you want to remember this boot camp? Do you want to remember is that something that you started and you did nothing? That would be shameful. I know. I for real. That would haunt you for the rest of your life. You will be seeing professionals being very good. You will see teammates from here being very good. In They will be sharing their project on LinkedIn. They will be applying for jobs and you will be very ashamed. You will feel regret. So you have a chance of not to regret today. Now, the other thing is I want us to do this on a video game mode. How do we do video games? Every day in a video game, you are struggling to go to the next level. I've seen girls. You know, now that's more of boys. So when you go to boys, you're playing PS, you want to beat this, you want to unlock this level. You know, uh, you know, there's that mission. I don't remember it. I forgot the name. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. You're going there to kill people, to get them souls. So even here in Civil Duty, I want us to play it in the game video mode. Today, you've been able to install. Tomorrow, move to the next step. You were able to do to detracting. The next step, the next step, unlock, 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 unlock every level. So if you're sitting there and you want to play PS5 and you can beat, you can create a better player than Ronaldo, but you cannot be able to learn how to create a surface, how to create a civil 3D. Who is going to pay you for learning a video game? I'm going to pay you. If, if you're very good at it, I'm going to pay you to do a design for me. So the choice is yours. When you're playing video games, you are selling. You know, you are, cons you, are, you, are, you, are, you are consuming, you are spending your money, you are paying for that. I am here giving you free videos, tutorials, but you don't want to move them. Oh my goodness, how are you people? No, a partner, no, you can't do that. You are better than that, all right? So that's it. Feedback loop, I will be giving you feedback according to how you want. Okay, not how you want, according to my expert judgment. So if I judge you, Design is not good. If you're my friend, if you're not, no, I am impartial. I will tell you, my brother, I told you to do this. You did not do it. Then repeat and then do it in the right way and you will go. You will get to better results. It's as simple as that. If you want to take my feedback, very good. You will become better. If you want to ignore it, then you remain in your dark days. Remember, feedback, sometimes accepting feedback means Oh my 
embracing feedback sometimes means that you can destroy even what you think you thought was good. So like this poster that I've designed here, if a top, a top graphic designer told me, James, what you've done here is wrong, I will not fight with him. I'll tell him, oh man, come on, how? Really? Tell me how? Why? And you will tell me, remove this pattern below here. It's not making sense. And then I'll remove. And then I'll look at it. Does it really look great? Amazing. Yes, that was a top professional. And then I will not put it in the next design, in the next review. So that's basically how you get to uh, get very good at it. And then, fantastic. How do we go about this? So our training program, our Civil 3D Bootcamp is going to start on 8th. 7th, I have a small meeting that came as an emergency and I don't want to let you people down. So that's why I pushed it to 8th. I know it's written year 7. 8th, and on 8th, we will have an amazing, an amazing mentor who will be opening this session with us. He's a top professional. So he will also be giving us more insights. How can we be good at this? How can we be top experts, all of us? So that's it. And uh, that's for the date. Commitments. From my few days, uh, that is around 4,000 days in this world, uh, I've noticed that anything that is given for free is always unappreciated and taken for granted. Look, this is a very classic example. We have 290-something 290 members in the WhatsApp group. This call was free. There was nothing that is required to be paid to be on this call. Look at us. How many of us are here? 80. So we don't need to carry the baggage of people who don't want to commit because that's it. Everyone is excited. When they say, hey, this is free, it's a free webinar, it's this. Everyone is excited about it. And then some even don't know what is happening there. Some even don't read the messages. They just want to be the group. And the people that I'm seeing here, my team, take, take the names, take the names, please. We get to have the names of the people who are in the meeting. These are the people that we'll be considering. So this is the first commitment. If anyone fails to meet, to come to this meeting, then they will have the wrong mindset. And that means we will fail. So X. Now, what's the next thing? There is, uh, the next commitment is, I have done these trainings for free. I have done these trainings for free. And I'm promising you, every time that I did this training for free, even people completed, they never came to say thank you. I was actually following up on them to say, uh, you can come for your certificates. You can imagine that level of uh, recklessness and mindlessness and, and, and gratefulness. Like, they just come in, the two sessions, and then they're like, ah, no, they are out. And then it's me who is following. I don't want to do that anymore. So that is why we've set a small fee as a commitment fee for this one. It is just 1,000 shilling, Kenyan shilling for the program, 1,000 Kenyan shilling, just a commitment fee. We are also investing time. We are investing internet. We are investing resources. Uh, this is just for this is just for us, just for to just keep us running, and it's just a thousand shilling. And then on this case, it will be on first come, first serve basis. It's one thousand Kenyan shilling and ten USD, ten USD for internationals. If you are using any other currency, you can convert that at your own uh, at your own rate. Just a thousand. This is affordable for every student. You need to plant a seed uh, of, uh, of commitment. You need to invest in yourself. So if you don't want to invest in yourself, that is also okay. We don't have worries. If you're not prepared, you can also come in the next one. It will always happen. We'll have another one and another one. It will be always here to, uh, for you. But you also need to feel the pain. And every time that you feel the pain, you want to get the best out of that program. So this uh, trainings have been scaled into two. There is this one. This is a starter for students, for engineering students and all of that. Then there is an advanced one that is for professional, you know, engineers who have an experience. That one will be happening in April. So please, this one, 
And then I know someone is asking about certification. So this program will be, I've seen that when we do the, the deep and every training, uh, when it comes to CIVO 3D, most people don't get it. Most people get lost because they don't have the basics. It's just their first time. And genuinely, it has been difficult uh, because we have wasted a lot of time uh, teaching the basics when we want you to advance to a top level. So that is why we have started with a small global CVD bootcamp that will be catering for beginners, uh, for beginner, for beginner level, uh, uh, you know, knowledge. And then once you do this, then you can do an advanced one where we will issue uh, the certificates. I think even certificates, I have like 58 certificates that will be out tomorrow for the, for the people that we were training, Autodesk certificates. And it is good for them. So you get to do this. And then once you join, now the advanced one will be able to issue the certificates. I'm also talking either with, uh, with my partners to see how we, we are partnered with HiCard Africa so that as I'm waiting for, I'm registering Drones Hub, then we are going to do evaluations and all of that before now we get to issue our own certificates because I want to issue legitimate certificates. I don't want just to go to a cyber and just write a certificate for you that is meaningless and not credible. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is we have partnered with the ICANN Africa and that one we are issuing certificates only for people who do the advanced course. In this one, we will, of course, consider you in the advanced course and then we can also upgrade your skills. So that's basically it. Uh, the days of the sessions, that is when we do practical sessions, will be Tuesday. Please take note. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So Tuesday and Thursday, they are practical sessions. In these practical sessions, I am the lead instructor. I'll be training you on what to do, do this, do this, do this. And we start with the interface. You need to understand the software that you're using first. Uh, after now, my guys have been able to install the software for you. So my guys, uh, my team, you can send in the payment options in the WhatsApp group for people who are, want to commit. Uh, they can proceed with that. Also share the link for international uh, th so that also we can be able to proceed with the session. So that's it. Uh, people only commit are the ones who are going to proceed with us because we want people, if we are committed in the process, we want people who are also committed in the process. Otherwise, if there is no commitment, you will be wasting your time and I will also be wasting my own time. That is not what I want to do here. So that's it. It's a thousand bob, 10 USD. We have sent out the links. Please note for international, you don't have to text me. The link is enough. The link is enough. And it is also going to, te to take you directly to the Telegram channel that we have prepared for you that will be there for learning. So please also don't share the links. If you want to pay, and even if you bring them and they have not committed, then I don't think we are going to consider them. So it's just a thousand shilling for all engineering students, all engineering students that are here. We understand that you don't have money. That's why we, we end this slow rate. Please don't share these out there because people will come for my neck. And this is the, for people who are in Kenya, for people who are in Kenya, for people who are in Kenya, uh, this is how you get to pay. It's for you to pay. It's M-Pesa pay bill 765. I think my men are sending that. Please send that in the WhatsApp group. Send that in the WhatsApp group send also the link so that we can be able. So once you please make take note that your account number is M794085 ash your name. So if we don't have your name, then I don't know, uh, we will, you know, we will have issues with payment confirmations. You can also forward the same message to 07144084. That's my number. Uh, I think of course it's in the WhatsApp. Uh, so that you can be able to send your messages of confirmation. So our kickoff meeting, our kickoff will be on March 8th. That is on Friday. But between tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, you can make your commitment. Those who will have made their commitment, my team will be helping you to install the software. So if you're stuck with the softwares, once we go to our Telegram channel, will be able to tell you now, look, if you have any challenges, write down your name here so that we can be able to attend to all 
the problem. So thank you, thank you very much. I am here to change your approach to road design, to change your perspective so that you can change your trajectory to mastery. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you for your support. It has been amazing. I know someone asked me about a YouTube channel. Yes, tomorrow we will launch our YouTube channel. It will be out there for all of you to be able to use it. Uh, we will organize it. It will also be a key thing. Uh, it will also be a key thing to help us in learning. Uh, we'll also be sharing a lot of content to support you in the learning process. So this is about you. This is not about us. At the Telegram channel will be for you people be for you. Uh, also, the YouTube channel, it will be for you. So in the Telegram channel, get to communicate, interact, make friends. In the YouTube channel, get to learn, practice, ask questions. I, I like people who ask questions because it means you are trying to clarify, to understand some concept, but it was difficult for you to understand. So you want clarification. So if you want clarification, I am always to offer clarification. So thank you so much and I will stop.